Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing a new device that I recently got. I'm pretty excited, but I'm also sad at the same time. You see, I live in Jamaica and whatever item comes to Jamaica that is over $50, you have to pay tax to clear it at customs. This guy was about $70 and I had to pay a total of $60 to actually get this item but today we have a pretty cool item on the channel and that is the Mi U Mini Plus. So again, I ordered this from Amazon for about $68, just rounded off to $70 and I'm pretty excited to get this one here. So let's go ahead and pull this open. We have inside of this plastic bag, we have the hard case. So the hard case, let's go ahead and, and check that out. We have the hard case. It's pretty sturdy i like it this will definitely protect your mini once you have it you know in a bag or something like that let's open it up we have some it's a we have a zip place to put some usb the charger we have another thing right here i don't know what you would put here maybe some memory cards and then the mini goes in the back and again this is a very sturdy sturdy case which is pretty cool now let's move on to the main part, which is the Mi U Mini itself. So it came in this brown and burgundy or reddish box, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's it looks pretty official, and I again, it's 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 premium. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this out, and in here we see we have some stuff. We have the instruction booklet. I don't know who actually reads this. I might go through it a little because I think it has some, you know, good information that we can, you know, use to know more about the mini, but I'm not going to really think, I don't think I'm going to go through it. So again, in the box, we have the instruction manual and then we have the mini with some accessories. So when we pull out the mini in the box, we get a USB type C, a little short one. This is about three meters or so. And then we have a USB, a memory card USB. So we can use this, oh my. We can use this to load our games onto our memory card. And then we also get a screen protector, pretty cool. And we have some wipes. And finally, at the bottom, we have a 64 gig memory card. So if we take a look at the memory card, you can see that there is no branding. It's just a random 64 gig, which is very sketchy. So let's go ahead and open out the console out of the bag. Again, this is the first time I'm getting one of these devices. So this is the white variant. As you can see, it looks pretty pretty sleek so let's go over the exterior of the device before we do anything else so here we have a 3.5 inch ips screen i think it's 480p then here we have the directional keys they feel pretty good we have the ohm button the x y and b pretty cool i like the different colors blue red yellow and green we have the start button and the select button on the left side, we have the volume up and volume down. On the right side, we have nothing. On the top, we have the power button and some LED indicator lights right here. So we have some light O's. So we have like green, red, or I don't know what color, what are the option of colors, but I know there is a green color for on and maybe red for when your battery is dying. And then at the bottom, we have the headphone jack, the USB the memory card holder i should say and the usb type c on the back we have four trigger buttons we have r we have r2 we have l2 and we have l let's take a look at the battery you put your finger or something here clip it up and then we see the battery right here so this is they say it should last about eight hours but maybe you can get maybe six hours so yeah, this is the mini. It has a little uh, screen protector thing on it. Like, I'm gonna just tear it off, peel it off. Oh my, that is mood. All right, so we're gonna pop the 
memory card into it before we boot it up if there's any charge hopefully there is so let's go ahead and take out our unknown uh 64 gigs and we're gonna pop it into it so let's place it in the wording should be at the bottom and we're gonna push it in then we're going to press the button at the top for about three seconds one two three and that should be fine All right so there is the miu mini so looking at it we can see there is some scuff on it like before they placed on this plastic they wiped it but they didn't do it properly i can slightly see some you know smudging on the screen but it's fine i mean it's not it's not it's not scraped so i mean it's 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 pretty good all right so once booted up we have recent we have favorites games retro arch uh apps settings and yeah that's it if we go into settings we have power off brightness let's max the brightness wi-fi color uh i don't know maybe that's the color of the screen then we have language key maps bgm let's turn that up a little or max it we have themes change a the theme oh that's pretty cool let's change it one more time onion uh okay and we have hibernate never five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes fixes factory reset device info hardware test and that's it for the settings now let's move on to the apps all right so we have some apps right here uh they're in chinese so i don't i don't know what they're saying but we have 13 different apps as you can see right here in the corner um in retro arch we have a few things or i think these are the maybe the games the consoles that we have i'm not sure but remember this is the first time so we have three pages of stuff that's a good amount of stuff let's go into games so we have arcade fc ff play gb neo geo md nam gba wsc wsc shoot sms fc s c i mean s fc ngp open bro p i don't most of these things i don't know what they are i know ps1 gba and gb i don't know the rest so let's go into gba because that's my favorite um gaming on retro gaming stuff so we have ruby sapphire we have we look like we have all the pokemon content which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and start up ruby for example to see if it actually works all right so it's working but it's flashing i don't know why it's flashing future me here for anyone who's watching the video after removing the memory card and reinserting the memory card booting it up and trying all the gba games it worked pretty fine so it seems like i didn't insert the memory card properly that's why it had the glitching effect and that's weird so let's press home and exit game i don't know why that's flashing so i'm gonna try to boot up maybe sapphire and it's still flashing that's 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 not very nice that's not good that's really not good i'm gonna go back to themes i'm gonna change it back to the default then i'm gonna go back to games go back to gba i'm gonna launch ruby it's not working i mean <laughs> what <laughs> it ain't working properly what the hell all right so that's that's not good we're gonna go to ps1 let's try tekken 3 
All right, so, so far, it doesn't seem like there is any issue in terms of... I mean, this looks pretty good. I don't know what's wrong with the GBA. I might, I might have to do some tweaking, but the GBA is not really working. But PS1 is working fine, which is pretty good.